Hi everyone, hope you're all doing good and uh, I'm back again with another video. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, spending some time watching the contents that I'm creating on YouTube and I and my only intention is to uh, share what I've learned through these years in terms of application of BIM uh, in the construction and design phases of the projects. Today I'd like to um, discuss about a platform which uh, Many of you might have heard about it, specifically if you're working in North America, uh, which is N8. So N8 is a software develop, developing company that uh, has created multiple platforms like um, N8 Estimate, N8 um, Team Binder uh, for document management, for scheduling, for, um, for cost management. Uh, and um, they're really efficient applications. One of their products is, um, is the N8 model, which as you can see in this screen, which I personally uh, believe is one of the best tools uh, for um, adding information to the model and um, kind of playing around with the information and extract information for quantity takeoffs. It has a very nice uh, interaction with Excel, so you can interact in a lively manner between your BIM model and, uh, and Excel, which is really great. Uh, so um, I'm gonna show you how it works and how you can bring the models from the N8 world into, the, um, into Excel and uh, how you can talk to different um, platforms like um, Revit and Navisworks uh, uh, when it comes to using N8. So let's jump into the um, into Navisworks and see how we can uh, communicate between Navisworks and uh, an N8 model. So once you install the N8 model, you will be able to have this add-in uh, inside your Navisworks and uh, also Revit. Uh, but based on my experience, it's easier to work um, in Navisworks and export your model directly into the to N8. So I, I just uh, created a federated model with the sample Revit models that uh, we have uh, based on Revit 223. And uh, here I also uh, want to show you the N8 model environment. So I have a sandbox project environment, and I'm going to explain what are these, uh, you know, kind of windows are. And this is where you can bring your model and visualize that. So let's start exporting the model and see how we can uh, communicate between uh, these two platforms so we select export to n8 and uh, then the n8 starts to prepare the model so um, and uh, make it ready to be exported to Navisforce. so you see uh, the, the models are ready so even here you will be able to uh you know select or unselect uh, whatever models that you want to export so you need to choose a location as as you see it understands that uh, the n8 platform is open so you have the sandbox so you select the sandbox as your project same for the other disciplines and uh, you select that and then you have your configuration options which defines how you want to transfer the information from the native model which here is a um, uh, navisworks to the n8 model so here, for example, when you open that, you will be able to see the list of the uh, properties. And um, I'm just gonna uh, search for some of them. So for example, I need to uh, bring the, uh, let's search for ID. So if I search for ID, I can see that here under the element, I want to export the element IDs. And also I want N8 to create a tag inside the n8 world i will explain what the tags are inside the inside the n8 world but it's like a project parameter in revit so we select this one the other thing is that for example we need the length of the element so under the elements i'm going to select export the length and also create a tag for that the other thing we can export is category so i can export the categories of these elements um the other thing would be since we have a structural model is it's good if we export the area of the element and also the volume of the element so i think we are good and here you see once you've done your uh 
export settings you're done with that you can export that parameter settings and save it as a like an n8 um kind of format file format and for the next time if for any reason you miss that you can import that back and uh, use the same settings so you, you just only need to do it once so here also you have the advanced which shows you know the coordinate system uh scale factor or whatever uh, in terms of um, kind of geometrical positioning of the model that you need to define so you click ok now do the same thing so it better to now i uh export this one i'm gonna save it uh, somewhere here so i'm gonna say export settings and i click ok so here i can easily import that so i'm gonna have the same condition and now i hit start and i wait until the export is done Okay, now you can see that the uh, the export process uh, is completed for both models. So now we can close. And if we jump into N8, we'll be able to see that, hey, we have some new models and you click add and there you go. You have um, the same models that you had inside the N8 platform. Very nice um, uh, with a good graphic. So you have your, you know, the same, uh kind of cube or here is like a sphere but uh then you have two main windows uh one is the um is the tags and objects which is uh, uh, the kind of uh tree of your elements and here is when you select an element you gotta get the information in this panel so if we go to the objects you can see that the objects are modeled so you can see that exactly the same tree that you have in Navisworks is exported here. Also, you have the tags that we exported. If you remember, I select the elements IDs and I wanted to, to N8 to tag them as well. So now you can see you have a tag here. So you have the model stream, which shows the models. You have all the volume information and you have the category and um, then we're good to go. So uh, here you can turn on and off the model, you know, if you want to just, uh, you know, see what's inside this architectural mechanical model, or you can only see the structural model as well. So if I select an element, you can see that inside the selection information, I can get the area. Remember, in N8, everything is in feet and uh, square feet and cubic feet as well. So you have the ID of that element, you have the, if there's a length for that, if there's a model, if there's a volume. So you see all the information, all the information are here as well. And also there's another thing, if you select this element under the general, you can get some information as well, like the total surface area and total volume of this element in SI units. So there are many, many other options that you can, um, you know, work with in, in in N8, there is like um, the visualization settings, like the appearance profiler that we have. You you gotta have the um, clash manager. You can analyze the model changes. So if there's a new model coming, you export here. It shows what element has been added, what has been removed. But we're gonna discuss all these features in other videos. But here, my focus is mostly on quantity takeoff and the interaction that this platform has with Excel. So let's um, export some information and you will be able to see that how quickly you can generate a nice spreadsheet of all the quantities that you have. So if you go to tag exporter, tag data exporter, you can here just create your own. So we call it our quantity takeoff, like um, version one, for example. And then you can select, okay, I need all the models here. And uh, as my like uh, identifier, and then I can say, okay, I need the ID, I need the category, and then I need the length, I need the area, and I need the volume. And then you hit export all, and you save it here as a CSV file. You can also save these settings, uh, and then we're gonna wait until the 
the Excel is loaded. And uh, here, after that, you have a me save these settings. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. And maybe I can bring this here. Uh, so you can see how these two are interacting with, with each other. So here we have our model. And here, let me make a table out of this one and uh, a little bit better. So you can see, we have all the model information, all the length information, area and volume. And I can easily create my, I don't know, pivot data, like uh, quickly, uh, put it on the other sheet. And here I can, uh, for example, create uh, like a filter for model stream. Let's uh, work with the, with the area at the moment. And then I can bring the categories here. Um, maybe we can put it like here and then um, we can easily see what we have uh, in terms of area for the category. So probably we just need to select those ones that have areas like um, maybe curtain panels, um, maybe floors, maybe they have a wall or something like this. And then you see that how quickly you have your information here pivoted and cleaned. And the other thing is that uh, I'm gonna uh, full screen my Excel and I'm gonna show you how these two platforms can talk to each other. Okay, now let's see how we can talk between these two platforms. I mean, Excel and N8 model. So I have my Excel and I have my N8 adding automatically added to Excel upon installation of N8. So I, I just need to sign in. Uh, to, to, to the project. So I click sign in and I wait until um, it finds my project. So if you remember, we had a, we had like the N8 model sandbox inside um, N8 model. So I can, you, say, you, you can see here, there's a window pops up and I can select the sandbox and now I am connected. You see that the user is there and I am connected. So Let's see how, as one example, how we can communicate between this platform and our model. So for some reason, I want to add a new tag to all the doors, or I have another Excel that can be combined with this file and the information can be added to, to the model. Since I have the element IDs, this would be my mapping like um, attribute that can help these data sets talk to each other. So let's create a new tag, like door tag. And uh, let me select all the doors. So for simplicity, all of them like as an X, something like that. And then I uh, clear my data, and then you see that we have the door tag. So now if I go back to N8, I can easily kind of transfer all this information back to the model. So what I need to do is just select the ID column, which is the element ID. And if I select the door tag, this would be my bulk assignment. And if I select, you see, now Excel start sending the information. And you, you see that, okay, around 7,443 tags applied to around 124 objects or elements successfully in the model. So if I click OK, if I go back, if I open my N8 model, you see here, a new door tag has been added. And if I select that, you see it selects all the doors here. And I can right click, hide unselected, and you will be able to see that all the doors have now the tag of X. And if I select one door, you see the door tag is X. So this is like a very cool feature in N8 that you can talk uh, between these two platforms. Let's explore another cool features, um, another cool feature in N8, uh, which is the color coding. So imagine you can add colors from Excel to, to your model, so which is very nice. So here I have another uh, like tab for the N8 add-in, which is like the visual reporting. So for some reason, I want to make all the walls look green. So I can easily select all the walls here. And I can select them and make them green. And then go back to the N8 visual report. I can easily select this as a tag. 
and se select this as a color as well and then there you go if you go back to the model you can see that all the walls now are green thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me and watch this video i know that um, there are a lot to cover but um, I just want to share what I've learned with you all so you can start using these applications as well. And uh, I'm also a learner and um, trying to learn every day. Um, so I wish you all the best and um, make sure that you're going to see the next video regarding the N8 model. I'm going to cover more about the details and the capabilities and functionalities of N8 uh, model. So stay tuned. See you. Bye. Thank you.